Hey you guys, welcome back to another video. I'm always doing the most, finish my cup and reload. Let it swing right back, let it swing right back. Today's Ninja Squad shout out goes to Pauline and Nikki. So thank you for your comments and thank you for everyone else's as well. In today's video, I have a super cute, very simple design for you guys. And I want to share it with you because I've seen it kind of floating around Instagram and I don't know, I just feel like I want to recreate it, share it with you guys. I've seen it from various texts, so I'm not going to tag a specific one. Um, I don't think anyone kind of came up with it, it just kind of happened. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys love it. I am so excited and I hope you love my new setup as well. I thought beyond how far you all know. I don't even think I looked at you guys once in that whole entire time. I'll get used to it. Let's go. Okay, so this is a look we are going to do in today's video. I'm starting off by showing you guys the new dish from Glitter Planet which is a crystal glass dappen dish and it comes with a gorgeous multicoloured hue to it along with a lid and I absolutely love using this dappen dish it just makes life so much easier having a nice heavy dish to work from so I'm using the premium adhesive monomer and I'm just popping that into my dappen dish using my brush and as you saw there I just allowed the liquid to flow down the ferrule and off of the end of my brush to minimize any spillages. So this is the pastel pink aqua brush and it's stunning. I will link everything down below for you guys. So if you want to check it out, then definitely do so. And don't forget to use my code NINJA5, which will give you 5% off. So next I'm coming in and I'm going to be using the Nailmate Outer Space Tip Cutters and these tip cutters are so gorgeous. Yes, you can go ahead and get the basic cutters but they don't have a finish like this which I just absolutely love. I've already applied the clear easy tips to my practice hand and then I'm coming in and just trimming the ends off to make a nice long coffin shape. So the cover powder that I'm using in today's video is Nude Attitude from Nailmate and I'm just doing a full set using that cover powder to create a nice nude gorgeous looking set and honestly I would wear them as they are. This nude is super pretty, super just elegant and gorgeous. I love it and look how gorgeous it works as well. So I'm just making sure to work the product nice and evenly and smooth and as close to the finished result that I want just to minimize, minimize any filing time because if I'm just going to be piling on product and making the nails super thick thinking mm, well it's fine I can kind of file them into shape which there is no shame in doing that I totally used to do that at the beginning of my nail journey but I would be there for like triple the amount of time that it took me to do the nails just trying to file them back and what a waste of product product it was as well like if you don't need to add that product and it's unnecessary then try and work smarter not harder that's what I like to think so apply the product as you need it and then file into shape don't apply excess product where it's not needed obviously whilst learning and getting to grips with your product how to use it your ratios and structure of nails it's going to be different and it will vary each time as you come to learn your techniques Also guys, don't forget to follow me on all of my social media. As you can see, they are in the bottom corner and I've linked them in the description box as well. So they are all at Ninja Nail Fairy and you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat and also here on YouTube, of course. If you do follow me on YouTube, don't forget to turn on those notifications and hit the bell to make sure that you are notified as soon as I upload. I'm just going to go ahead and sculpt the rest of these nails out and then I'll be back to do the rest of the set. So I hope you guys enjoyed this part. If you haven't already, please give this video a thumbs up and share it as well and then come back and of course finish watching. Also guys, comment your favourite rainbow emojis down below in the comment section and you will have the chance to be featured in my next video.
Next I'm coming in with the Nail Mate Detailer Brush as well as the Neon Pigments from Glitter Planet and we are going to go ahead and create a design. So I did file and buff the nails off of camera and you know created a nice even shape, just refined the free edge and this is how they look prior to adding the design. So in today's video I'm going to be using the white gel paint which we will have come in soon to Glitter Planet. Um, it's gorgeous to work with. I love it and I cannot wait to create more designs with it and share it with you guys more and for it to become available. Now let me tell you what happened here. I think I was kind of pressing record or stop and I smooshed it and smudged it all around before curing but I wanted to leave this in here because this kind of stuff does happen when you are doing a set. So to clean that up, I'm just coming in with the Nail Mate Flat Oval Brush and I'm just using some alcohol or the Safe Scrub, whatever you have to hand and just cleaning that area up as if you were cleaning like a cuticle area or something like that. Just making sure that that product's tidied up before you go and cure. And it's as simple and as easy as that. Um, I then come in with the rest of the white gel paint from Glitter Planet not available just yet as I said um, hopefully very very soon for you guys and I just fill in the rest of the nail and then come back in with the detailer to crispen that line up again I have no idea if crispen is a word but never mind anyway I'm just going to repeat the same process on all of the nails and then I will be back for the next step Once I'm happy with the placement of my white gel paint, I'm coming in with Nail Mate's Gel Polish Base Coat, which again is another product coming very soon to the website and to the brand, which I'm so, so utterly excited about. I cannot wait to share the first eight colours with you guys. They are so gorgeous. But yeah, I'm coming in with the base coat and I'm just simply going over the white area. Since the gel paints that we will be releasing and bringing to our website will be tack-free finish, these, obviously, after I've cured them, have no tacky layer on them. So there's nothing that's going to grab and hold that pigment. So all I'm doing and all you want to do is come in with something that has got that dispersion layer that you can then apply that pigment or glitter to. Simply using Nail Mate's Base Coat will do exactly just that. So I'm applying it over where I want to apply my next product. And then I'll cure in the lamp for 30 seconds. And of course, that base coat's going to leave a nice, tacky, sticky layer, which I can then add my pigments on top of, and it will grab really nicely and really hold that product in place. So next I've opened up all of my pigments ready because I don't want to be messing around between each colour application so they're all lined up ready to go and they just scream summer brights to me. I love bright colours and rainbows. So I'm starting off and I'm going to go ahead and apply the blues and then I'm going to work in order of colour. So then apply one colour to every nail, then the next colour to every nail, just so that my brush, because I'm not using a different brush for every colour, I'm not kind of contaminating that next colour that I use. So I'm just applying this randomly and not really thinking about where I wanted to put it because I did want it to just be kind of a random artistic expression of colour splashed on the tips of the nails and I think this design definitely brought that to the table. It looked absolutely gorgeous once it was finished, I loved how it turned out and I would definitely rock this set myself. Thank you. 
So I just want to continue patting in the colour to the base coat layer which is cured and that's just going to grab hold of the pigment and once I'm happy with that I'll come in and dust off the excess. So this is how the set looks before I remove any excess pigment, before I kind of top coat and all of that good stuff and clean up of course. So I am going to come in with the mini dust brush from Glitter Planet and I'm just gently swiping over the nails to remove the excess pigment and fallout from that product. And as you can see the base coat holds that product really well and it doesn't kind of once I swipe it with the brush, it's not blending it all together, it's not really creating a mess, everything's staying exactly where I wanted it. I'm next coming in with Safe Scrub and just using that as a alcohol slash cleanser just to remove the excess pigment that's gone past the line and looks a little bit messy. And once I'm happy with my cleanup, I'm coming in with Nail Mate Super Gloss No Wipe Top Coat and I'm going to be applying this to the entire set. This really, really just set off the entire design. It made it look so juicy and so gorgeous. It popped that nude colour and it made it look so, so glossy. I loved the result with Top Coat on. look how gorgeous that is like oh my god she's so pretty between each nail being top coated i do go ahead and flash cure just to make sure that i don't nudge anything or if you're working on a client that your client doesn't nudge or smudge anything and just to make sure that everything's curing in the right place so after one nail i will quickly flash cure if i'm doing a shorter set i'll do like two nails flash cure for like 10 seconds and then carry on flash cure do the thumb and then full cure and then i'll cure the thumb separately like get my client to put the hands in by them like the thumb on its own um, that just really makes sure that everything's being cured really well look how gorgeous that looks honestly it takes my breath away how much super gloss is just so glossy it's so pretty it's so beautiful
Okay, you guys, so this is the final result. I've added some Nail Mate Luxury Cuticle Oil and look how gorgeous this set is. If you would rock this, let me know in the description box. And also post down below your favorite rainbow emojis so I can share them in my next video. As always, guys, remember that you are bomb.com, lit as fuck, and don't ever let anyone tell you any different because you've got this and I love you. Mwah. Bye. I'm always doing the most, finish my cup and reload. Let it swing right back, let it swing right back